Hey guys, I have a little mail call from Sick Nick. He is in the process of moving and he's looking to reduce his clutter so he was giving a bunch of stuff away. Well, this first aid kit that you're looking at here was uh, part of a channel giveaway he was having and on that giveaway he had set a goal as to how many views that video got before he would give these away and unfortunately he never reached that goal so um, the time come to where I guess he's moving and he wanted to get rid of some stuff so he kind of listed off some things he had and told people to email him and let him know if you want anything so I hit him up about this first aid kit and start first with the uh, tourniquet this is a cat or a uh, what is it a combat application tourniquet as a of course I'm sure you've all seen a, a cat tourniquet before in this very nice holder this reminds me of a of a, a magazine pouch but it is actually made for a uh, tourniquet and it has a little spot for the trauma shears and these are these are really nice trauma shears has a little carabiner clip on there so you can clip it to a belt loop or something but really really nice and then inside of the first aid kit you have this zippered pouch on the front and it has these in it and I honestly I don't remember what these are um, I would assume it's some kind of a, a plug possible you know plugging maybe a, a, a bullet wound or something I, I honestly don't remember what those are for but those are in the little front pouch here you open it up and in here he has some steri strips and these are useful. If you guys don't have any steri strips in your uh, first aid kit, I would recommend you get them because if you cut yourself open, these are great for uh, kind of strapping strapping that wound back together. You know, if you don't have um, like super glue or, or whatever you know people use nowadays, but those work great. And then you have some of this uh, Z gauze that's in this package here it's all vacuum sealed and stuff and the amount of gauze that's in here is you wouldn't believe how much is in there you know judging by the size of this package but it has uh, was it four four point one yards which is 13 feet so yeah there's 13 feet of, of gauze in that thing unzip this here and inside he has some duct tape and there's some saline solution a pair of rubber gloves in the back here he has a uh, some more of that Z pack or that, that gauze that vacuum sealed gauze. This is great for packing wounds. Um, inside this bag you have like um, pain meds, uh, uh, antiseptic wipes, uh, alcohol prep pads. There's also um, tweezers and a little razor knife that you, I guess you can use as a scalpel. And a few, a few band-aids as well which I'll probably replace those with the fabric band-aids because these are the plastic ones and I've found that those don't stick very well when you start sweating and there is a uh, compress compression bandage all nice and vacuum sealed there is an emergency blanket and several three by three pieces of gauze so very nice little uh, IFAC 
individual first aid kit if you don't know what IFAC means. Very nice. So, big thank you to uh, Sick Nick for hooking me up with this. These will be put on my uh, on the molly webbing, which it all has molly webbing on it, of uh, a an EDC bag that I that I carry every day. So there it is. You guys want to go check out Sick Nick's channel? I'll put the link down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.